Hello everyone, I am Jaren James and welcome to this Adobe XD tutorial. I am here with an easy soft UI tutorial. This is a highly requested video, and thanks for all your feedback so far. Soft UI, also known as numorphism can be made using different techniques, and this video is the first of a series of videos, where we design a social media app with soft UI elements. So follow along. Open Adobe XD. You can download the project file from the link in the description. Create a new artboard of any size of your choice. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Duplicate it by dragging the shape while holding the Alt key on the keyboard. Select both of the rectangles and make the corners round. Go to the Assets panel, and apply the color to the artboard. Select the shapes, and apply the same color to them as well. Here we are going to make two soft UI elements, one projected outwards the other inwards. I will explain how this works. This will be our two major elements. Let's call them up and down respectively. Imagine there is a light source at the top left corner. Since the up element is projected upwards, there will be a highlighted area on the top left corner and a shadow area in the bottom right corner. In the case of the down element, since it is supposed to be at a depth from the plane, the lighter area will be on the bottom right corner, and the shadows will appear on the top right, both inside the base shape. This is a general idea, and now let's translate that to XD. Go to the Layers panel and rename the rectangle to Base. We need three identical shapes, so duplicate the base layer twice using the shortcut, Ctrl plus D. Now we have three layers. Rename the second layer to Light and the third to Shadow. Select all three layers and remove the borders. Select the Light layer, and add the Light Shadow. Check Shadow from the Properties panel, select White as the color at 100% opacity. Now offset it to negative 15 on both axes, and set the Blur to 25. This creates a soft highlight. Now apply Shadow to the Shadow layer with a darker color with 50% opacity. Offset the shadow in the opposite direction at the same distance, and set the blur to 25. This will result in a clean soft raised button effect. You can tinker with the distance, and blur to get a different depth and feel to the effect. Group the layers, and rename it to up for later use. For the second effect, rename the rectangle 2 to base, and duplicate it twice. Remove the border from the top layer and change the fill color. This doesn't matter, since we are going to mask using that shape. Hide the top layer and rename the second and third layer to light and shadow. Select both of these layers from the layers panel and apply a border of size 5 pixels. Select the light layer and expand it using the top left anchor point. Do the same for the shadow layer, but use the bottom right anchor point for that. Now you will have something that looks like this. 
Select the light layer and change the color of the border to white. Select the shadow layer and change its border color to the selected dark shade. After selecting both these layers, head on to the Properties panel and apply Object Blur at a blur level of 5. Now toggle the visibility of the base layer. Select all three of them, right-click and select the mask with shape option. Rename the mask group to down and that's it. This is how to create a soft UI element. You can add them as components to use them in multiple artboards. They could be used as text fields, image placeholders and as buttons. They could easily be combined to get varying results. Let me show you an example. This is a sign in experience made with the help of soft UI elements and animated in Adobe XD. Hope you liked the video. Drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you did. I am going to continue building on this until we arrive at designing and prototyping an app, so stay tuned. And as always give your valuable feedback as comments, and share it with your friends.